Hello everyone, PR Dance Slides is here. Welcome back and today I'm going to teach you on how we could create the simple aesthetic forest by PowerPoint presentation using the glass morphism effect and also a parallax effect. And if you are new here to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Alright, so we are now here in Microsoft PowerPoint and before we begin, please do prepare two images for your presentation. For me, we will be using this um, Forest Vibe photos that we've got from the stock images here in PowerPoint. After preparing two images, the first thing that we need to do is to fit them on our presentation slide, just like this. There you go. And then afterwards, we will fit the other one as well, just like this on our slide. And we will put this first photo at the bottom of our slide, just like that. And not like this, not like that, not like this, but rather, um, but rather on this kind of position. And then um, put this at the back of your um, second image. So you should have this kind of look for your first slide. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is to duplicate our first slide. We should have like this on our second slide. And afterwards, our first photo, for our first photo, we will put it at the top of our slide, just like that. And then we will just put this one on our main slide, just like that. And after that, we will go on the first slide again, we will create our glass morphism effect. So in order for us to do that, um, first we will right click on this photo and we will select format picture. And then after that, select the artistic effects and select the blur. There you go, and increase the radius of it, probably to 60. And after that, we will copy this blurred photo, copy that, and then reduce the radius um, blurred effect down to zero again on its original, original look. And then after that, we will right click on the main background or the white background that we have here on our slide and go to format background. And after that, go and hit the picture or texture field and select clipboard. And at the background of your presentation slide, you should have that blurred photo that we have created earlier. Alright, and then we will just put this back again right over here. After that, on our second slide, we will do the same thing again. However, we will be using our second photo right over here. So right click on it and go to format picture, go to artistic effect, go to blur, and then increase the radius to 60. After that, copy this photo and then reduce the radius down to its original, um, down to zero again. And then right click on the white background here, go to format background. And select the picture or texture fill and select the clipboard and you should have that blurred photo that we have created earlier for this slide and i will just put this picture right over here on its original position there you go now we will go back to our first slide and we will go here click the insert and select the rounded rectangle and then after that Go ahead and have your rounded rectangle, but somehow reduce the round edge of it. After that, remove the shape outline and then position it at the center of your slide. And then right click on your shape and select the format shape. After that, under the fill section, go ahead and select the slide background fill. And you should have this kind of glass morphism effect for your presentation. However, we are not yet done. First, we will right click again on it and go to format shape. And we will go here to effects. 
Under the section of shadow, go ahead and select your shadow effect. Probably, we will be using the offset top left. And after that, we will increase the blur effect of it probably up to 99 or 100. And then reduce the transparency of it probably down to 30%. Just like that. So now you have your glass morphism effect with emphasized um, look because of the shadow of it. Because of the shadow that we have created. And then after that, we will first um, put this glass morphism effect that we have created at the very bottom of our slide. Probably here. So this is our main slide. This portion is our main slide for our presentation. And then at the bottom of it is our glass morphism effect and the other photo. Now go ahead and select your glass morphism effect. Copy that. We will copy this. And we will just paste it again here on our second slide. And we will position it right over here at the top of, or probably at our main slide presentation. And put it at the center of it. Yeah, after that, go ahead and insert some of um, text or paragraph for your academic or work presentation. And there you have it. So I just copied the text that I've created earlier in, here on our slide. And after that, do also put some text here on your first slide. And there you have it. So we now have our text on our first slide and text on our second slide. So the text here on our first slide, we will just copy that and paste it here on our second slide. After that, we will just put this at the very top of our presentation slide, probably on this position. And then after that, we will also copy all of this text that we have here on our second slide. We will copy this. We'll copy them all and then paste it here on our first slide. And after that, hold shift and then drag all of your text down right over here. You should have this kind of look on your first slide and you should have this kind of look on your second slide. And after that, click all of the slides, go to transitions and hit the morph effect. So now let's check what we have here so far. And there you have it. Now you have your aesthetic, simple, PowerPoint presentation using parallax effect and also with glass morphism effect. And that's how you combine those two kinds of effect in order for you to have a creative PowerPoint presentation for your audiences. And please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down what are your thoughts about our tutorial today so that we could improve it in the future. And you could also suggest some of the PowerPoint presentation or PowerPoint tutorial that you would like for me to teach. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until the end, God bless you all. See you again next time and goodbye.